Hey guys, Ruppy here. Woo, guess what we're doing today, man? You're not gonna guess, that's for sure, but it's a 1,000 subscriber special. Woo! <laughs> oh my god, it feels like yesterday that we were on essentially nothing. I'm so grateful for all of the attention that the channel is getting at the moment, all of the comments, all of the feedback. It seriously means the world to me. I would not be doing this if it wasn't for you guys and just your overall support. It wouldn't be a 1,000 subscriber special if I didn't acknowledge the largest elephant in the room, and that is you guys. Any of you who came from the GHED channel as well, very, very grateful and humbled that you guys are enjoying the content that I'm posting on this channel. I'm sorry I'm having to stop uploading for a little bit on the other channel. So I will be back. Don't worry, the month's almost up. University's about to kick back in again and I will be able to upload on both channels at a relatively consistent pace, and I'm pretty happy about that. I seriously feel as if my editing quality has improved over this month that we've been editing. I've still got, I think, what, 10 days to go? Nine, eight days? But I, I'm seriously so appreciative of everything you guys have done for me over this 20-day period. I wanted to do something that Hayes recommended, and that was to record myself editing for a day, narrate over it, what I've actually done is I've sped the footage up by about 3,000% and I have put the entire edit of yesterday's video at the end of this video. So I'm going to go on to that. It's about 11 minutes long, so it's a bit of ASMR if you just want to listen to it in the background. But again, as I've already said, thank you guys so much for 1,000 subscribers. The support is amazing. I love you guys. Catch you later. But before I speed this up, I should quickly just let you guys know before you know you get your hopes up too high. I'm not trained in this whatsoever, and most of the techniques I use are quite rudimentary, and I just use them to great effect in quantity, some <laughs> arguably unnecessary at times, and I don't want to claim to be some sort of god-tier movie editor because, well, I'm not. Either way, I hope you guys enjoy watching. Let's go. Alright, so this is pretty much how I like to start off my edits. I'll make two sequences, and then I'll drop the file that I want to work with into the second sequence, split it up into sections that I want to use, and then I will be able to drag them in in an area that kind of doesn't get affected as I edit, and that way I know where everything is. I don't need to filter as much. It kind of just improves my workflow a bit. I definitely like that. I can't remember where I got that idea from, but someone told me about it, and I was like, whoa, this is game-changing, man. But that's what I did. I started using that, and it's definitely become a very solid part of my workflow now, so very grateful for however I came about that knowledge of doing that. Here I started trying to do a lightning animation so that when I would punch, lightning would come out of my fists. Uh, it was a pretty pretty basic attempt, I just keyframed. Didn't even keyframe actually, I just split the, the thing into different frame chunks and then just made it flash between animations. But then I realized After Effects allows you to draw frame by frame into an animation, so I just made energy go around my arm and out of my fists. I thought it came out pretty well. It was like a really quick part of the video, if you've already seen the video that is, and it, it you really didn't see its full effect, so you can see it now I guess. I wanted to do some really stupid motion tracking, just overall a really stupid intro, because that's what this channel's about, you know? I do an absolutely over the top, dumb, pointless intro. Well actually no, it's not pointless, it usually ties in, or at least I want to make it tie into the video itself in some sort of way. So this time round I was using or reacting to dumb fights, so I just wanted to do a dumb fight myself, aka fighting with no one in my room punching some air. So that was fun, and we did a bit of ironic comments in there so that you wouldn't roast me too hard for pretending to be some random fighter who knows what he's doing, which, spoiler alert, I don't. But again, here you go, you can see that I'm doing it. I really like that effect. I actually don't know why I didn't do it again in the video. I definitely would if I could find a spot where I would be able to use it. But again, I didn't really set myself up for it, which is something that I've got to work on commentating wise, because a lot of the edits I would like to do, but sometimes it just doesn't fit with what I'm saying, what I'm doing, how energetic I am, what the lighting's like. And in my case, for this video specifically, the damn camera was out of focus and it kind of killed my vibe for the rest of the edit. And I was like, are you kidding me? But you have to work with what you've got. I re-recorded the outro, so it was a little bit higher definition, and I just had to live with it, you know? It's just one of those things. 
But now we're getting into the main bulk of the edit itself. I think I'm doing the comment question of the day, or at least I've just done the comment question of the day. And I am now doing a little bit of rotoscoping on my left nostril so that I could use it. I don't think I've said that ever in my entire life. But now I'm rotoscoping my left nostril so that I could do a zoom transition into the next sequence or next segment of my video. Uh, it didn't really come out as well as I was hoping, but that was only because it was so fast that you wouldn't really notice unless you were actually paying attention. Then we go on to the common question of the day, which is the next step, which I almost every single time, I don't know why, I somehow always forget to record this, and I'll do it at the end of my recording. I'm about to wrap everything up, and then I remember I've got to do the, the damn common question of the day. It's not like I don't like doing them, because it can add a really nice comedic effect to the video, and I, I love responding to those kind of comments, because they're just so funny. And it definitely improved the interaction I have with you guys in the comment section, that is for sure. I'm now working on the Earth, Wind & Fire Ruppy Presents intro, which is pretty standard with my videos at the moment. I do want to kind of work on that, get a bit better at my intro, getting a bit better, get a bit better at my intro, sorry about that. And hopefully it will improve over time. I think it already has improved a little bit over time, but I definitely put a lot more effort into the introduction sequence fight random crap shit fest of a storm at the beginning of the video. You know, and watch any one of my more recent videos and you'll know what I'm talking about. But I like to over edit in the beginning or do some sort of interesting edit that captures the attention, as I've already said. We're now working on the introduction bulk to the video. So this will be where I talk about what's gonna happen, what we're gonna be doing, how I'm gonna do it, what's up with the video and that kind of stuff to kind of get you guys interested and understand what I'm about to be doing. Because at most of the time, I don't end up doing what I want to do because I get sidetracked and I am probably the master at doing that so I don't really end up using a lot of my damn footage because of it. I'll just end up looking at some random YouTube video. But here we go, I'm now doing a bit of Photoshop. It's not really Photoshop but I'm just calling it Photoshop because you would understand if I said Photoshop and not GIMP. But I'm using GIMP there because I don't use Photoshop, just never really got into it. Probably should, it's one thing I do actually want to get into. I realized that the skull didn't fit my head, had a watermark on it, so I had to try and fix that as much as I could. Didn't really bother me too much, the watermark. Ooh, and I wanted to make the head explode. Originally, I did want to just make my face melt off it, but I couldn't figure out how to do that to a level that I was satisfied with. So I just kept editing and I just made my head explode as a result. And I do like that random sort of edits that are explosive not literally, but like explosives so that you don't expect them will happen really suddenly. Uh, definitely something I like to do. I definitely draw attention, no, I definitely draw my inspiration for my edits from people who like to over edit. So I think PewDiePie over edits quite a lot now, or at least he did at a point in time. And I really like those videos. So I definitely draw inspiration from those kind of YouTubers. Some people don't like over edits, and honestly, I can see why you wouldn't like them, but it's a genre I really like to do because I feel, and I'm just gonna be honest with you guys here, that my commentary isn't as strong as it could be, both in a comedic sense and just an interesting sense. That might just be me talking, that might just be me being self-conscious, but I, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Either way, that's a big reason why I like to over edit because I feel as if it adds something to watch in the video rather than listening to some weird ginger kid with a with a ponytail talk for a, for a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, so my classic intro is what I was just working on there where I'll say, how's it going guys? And then I'll just do some random noise or some crap. And uh, that tends to happen. I didn't do that this episode because this one's a bit different because it's a milestone video. I just wanted to keep it a little bit more serious or as serious as I could get, you know. I don't really like to take things too seriously on this channel, if you are new here anyway. You'll, if you're not new, you'll, you'll definitely know that because <laughs> I just don't care, man. I just like to have some fun, react to stuff that's mildly interesting, over-edit it to death, and just make some random video out of it. That's pretty much what this channel's about at the moment. I mean, I would say that I'm a, reac a reaction channel, but at the end of the day, I feel as if a reaction channel actually has to react to something. <laughs> I just kind of laugh mildly and then meme the crap out of it essentially but I, I do feel as if I I do have my moments you know just full full what am I trying to say I don't even know anymore hey but 
Now we're doing a bit of a Michael Rosen meme. I love Michael Rosen YouTube poops, so I like to do those as much as possible. Or not that crazy, because I'm really just not skilled enough to be able to do that stuff, or at least I don't have the time anyway. You can see the, the time in the bottom corner is just wrapping through the wrapping what even was that experience <laughs> it's whizzing through the time i like to call this part the mlg section now i've never done an over edit mlg video before and i didn't think i ever wanted to but the opportunity presented itself and i i grasped it you know i've never done one before as i said but i used some pretty cool effects that i was pretty familiar with at the time and i, I reused a bit of footage that i made for a previous episode where i made i think that my name is jeff dude's head explode and then he flew through space so that was pretty <laughs> funny i liked definitely liked this part actually this was really fun to make i liked how it was just all coming together so random unexpected that kind of stuff that's that's why i like doing youtube i like making random crap happen for no reason and absolutely massacre what was originally a pretty normal clip so that happened, I guess. I used another sequence for this one so I could keep it away from my main working sequence so that I could kind of keep track of what everything was doing. I put a little disclosure in there just beforehand so no one dies with an epileptic fit and kills themselves mid-seizure. That would be quite bad on my behalf. But yeah, so now I've just transitioned or I've moved it into the main working sequence and I'm tweaking some stuff up because some things weren't overlaying properly and I added a big explosion to uh, represent the kid's explosion from the damn reality. Then I reacted to a bit of a fake video, did some pitch shifting, warping and that kind of stuff. Whenever I do like a swirly pitch shift where it's like goes from a high pitch to a low pitch to a high pitch to a regular really quickly, I like to distort my face slightly is, I, again, I don't need to do that, but I feel as if it adds a little bit of extra visually to the actual sound of the effect. And I also like to use images that I make rather than like just stealing a PNG off the internet. I, I feel as if cropping it out myself for some reason is more validating to me, but <laughs> I don't know, maybe that's just me. Then we did a bit of reading comments because I realized that the videos that I was watching were extraordinarily fake and boring so I usually go to the comment section if that happens because people in the comments tend to have a, a better slash more interesting opinion about what the video is actually going on about and then I can usually spin off that from time to time because I'm an un unoriginal piece of shit. <laughs> no. But that's that's what I like to do. That's just the format of the videos, you know. And there's just some, there's some ignorant comments on YouTube. In all honesty, <laughs> it's just some absolute gold in the comment section which is I think why the reading comments type videos just all over YouTube where people are like reading hate comments are just so attractive to, to people because it's obviously that they're either hating because you know it's satire and they just want to be, be funny because <laughs> a lot of hate comments are just stupidly funny if you know what I'm talking about anyway. But comments videos, it's taking the comedic value of other people and then talking about it some more. And that pretty much wraps up the over edit slash compilation of my yesterday's edit. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's probably not something that's incredibly visual to watch because if you don't know how to edit or even know what the software was, you would, you would have no idea what's going on. It would just look like flashing colors. Again, I just want to reiterate how much I'm humbled and how much I appreciate you guys coming to the channel and subscribing. It definitely means the world to me. I hope you guys are having the awesomest day. That did not come out of my mouth the way I wanted it to. Stay groovy, stay sexy, and until tomorrow, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.